part, amen. He knew no sin and had to pay the blood price for sin. Come yes. on, somebody. He had to live a righteous and new life because he knew that if he stumbled, once people would turn their backs and wouldn't believe, amen. If Jesus did what they did to him, that we would all question Jesus, but he was set apart for destiny and purpose, mm. amen. Never amen. was it easy. He even asked the Lord, pass this cup for me as I would done the same, amen. Mm -hmm. He had to do it for us on today that we could be new in him, amen. May, may I just jump over to Paul. I just want to talk about Paul a little bit on today, amen. How Paul was a murderer, a, a persecutor of the Christians, amen. Uh, he was unsaved at the time, amen. He was on the road to Damascus, amen, to bring back families and change. And on this journey, a light struck him, amen. Come on, somebody. And then he heard a voice, and the voice said, why are you persecuting me? And Paul said, uh, uh, who are you? And Jesus said, I am Jesus. Why are you persecuting me? And, and then the Lord told Paul to get up and go do what I tell you to do. And Paul got up, and Paul was blind for three days. And man, it started praying and asking God for restoration of his sight. Amen. So God sent Ananias, right, to let him know that Jesus sent him to regain his sight. So from there, Paul got up filled with the Holy Spirit. Come on, somebody, stay with me. The scales fell off. Amen. His eyes and he could see and was baptized. Now, baptized as we are baptized, brand new in Christ. Amen. Now, Paul had a new vision. And, uh, the old vision was no more. Come on, somebody. Now he was walking in his new man and left the old man behind. Amen. See, Paul didn't realize how much he affected God by living in his old self. Amen. In his old nature. Come on. Doing what he wanted to do. Listening to others. Amen. But God God awakened Paul, and it's a shame that God had to blind him to make him understand what he was doing was wrong, and that the old man needed to die, amen, and the spiritual man needed to arise, amen, uh -huh. so, Paul, so Paul, when he opened his eyes, he went on to preach the good news, the gospel, amen, and his new self, and he was preaching everywhere powerful messages, God yeah. did this for Paul because Paul was chosen. And like mm. you, you have to you have to put the old man to death and walk in the new man because God has called you or chosen you to do his work. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Our new man will require us to walk in holiness, walk in love, walk in peace, walk in joy, walk in self-control, walk in patience, walk in faithfulness and gentleness. Come on, somebody. Uh -huh. Because yeah. we are no longer the same. Amen. Right. All Amen. the old things we used to do you have to let God restore you and let the scales fall off amen in Philippians 2 5 it says let this mind be in you which yes. is also in Christ Jesus amen change yes. your mindset change your heart amen and walk in God's ways it won't be an easy thing but it will yes. always be worth it amen let let's be the change in this world on today see the seasons change every year throughout the year amen uh, come on, somebody. New leaves come, old leaves go. They yeah. fall. Winter come, winter goes. Uh, summer comes, summer goes. Leaves fall during the fall so that new leaves will spring up during the springtime. Amen. So just like the seasons, we have to let the leaves fall in our lives so that the new man of Christ can spring up. Up, amen. We are no longer dead, but yet alive in Christ. Yes. Amen. Jesus amen. In Christ Jesus. Amen. Let the Holy Spirit work in you and within you. Amen. The word yes. says in Romans 6, 22, but now that you have been set free from sin and have been slaves of God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness. And the result is eternal life. I love that right there. Eternal Hallelujah. life. Amen. Yes. I really love that thing. Amen. And the result is eternal life. Amen. And in order to have eternal life, amen, the old man could be no more. But we have to be a holy and a righteous 
people, amen. Come on, somebody. Let me point something out to you. Uh, there are two testaments in the Bible, right? The Lord could have said first and second testament, but that's not what he did because he's so brilliant. He's so awesome. He's so uh -huh. intelligent. Amen. Yeah, he said the old and the new testament. He knew what he was doing right here. Amen. He said uh -huh. the old and new testament. Testament, my God, He wanted us to understand that the old has passed. Come on, somebody, and the new has begun. But it's totally up to you, amen. What you want to do, you want to yeah. live in the old man, go ahead. But if you want to live in the new man, I advise you to give your life to Christ, amen. Oh, my yeah. God. All things new, amen. I want to encourage you on today. You, 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 all of you on today. I want to encourage you all. Ah, uh, yes, and I want you all to let, I want to let you all know that God has shown us the way, amen. He has shown us how to live a new life. He has shown us that he was the new man, that all things are new, amen. We amen. thank God for it today. We cannot go back to that old man. When uh -huh. we get a new house, we leave that old house. We say, I'm not bringing nothing new into this new house because I want all things new. I want the new bathroom. I want the new couch. I want everything new. And that's how we're supposed to be with Christ. We all, we say that it's hard to do this thing, but when you're in Christ, God makes it easy. God is our peace, our joy. He's yeah. everything we need to walk in this new Hallelujah. man. When you get an old car, amen, you say, I didn't even look back at that old car because I am made new. And the car, the new car I have is new. I don't need anything that was in that old car because I am transformed. I am made over for, the, yeah. for God's glory, amen. I want to encourage you on today to live for the father amen he didn't Hallelujah. die just to die he didn't die for his health he died for our health he died for our lives amen and amen. i'm grateful that he did that because now i can i understand <clears throat> how to walk in the newness of christ amen Hallelujah. he didn't do it he did this on purpose amen mm -hmm. he, you see that's what's so beautiful about god everything he does he does it on purpose for us amen but for mm -hmm. his glory amen i'm so grateful i'm excited on today the word is good and god gave me this word in jamaica i had all this uh, other message i said lord would you say all things new yes all things new because that's what he's requiring it may seem repetitive in my messages but god is trying to tell his people something on today uh -huh. amen and i amen. am so honored on today to bring forth the word of god Hallelujah. that we can yeah. never be the same once we say we accept the christ as our personal <laughs> savior some things have to fall off off. Just like Hallelujah. the scales fell off of our poor fit eyes, it has to fall off our eyes. As soon Hallelujah. as Paul was restored his sight, he went on to preach the good news and told about the goodness of Jesus because he he knew God. God showed himself to him and God said, you got to do this thing over. You're persecuting me. When you're persecuting my people, you're persecuting me because we are in one. So let's walk in newness. Let's be like Paul. Let the scales fall off and run and preach the good news. Run and tell them about God because God is worthy. Amen. I Amen. thank you all of today. I pray that this encouraged you, uplift you, and, and did something for you on today because God certainly spoke on today. And I'm just honored. Amen. I'm grateful. Love you all. God bless. Thank you, Lord. Love it. Love it. Praise God. Listen. Hey, God is so good. Listen, she says so many things. Uh, that just uh, my, my mind was going straight through the word of God. It just kept going like, and, and she read from Romans six and four, and then she even went down a little bit. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, Romans uh, six and 12, right? It says, let not sin reign therefore in your mortal bodies that you should obey them. Do not obey, right? She said, listen, walk in the newness of life. My mind went to Matthew seven somewhere down around by the eight verse. You cannot put new wine in old wineskins. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. It's too big for them old wineskins. So I have to walk in the newness of life. So what God has done was so powerful. She said, I don't need the old covenant anymore. I don't need that old Testament and those old promises because they were pointing to me anyway. 
And so now we have a new covenant. We have new promises, a new way of life. And she said, please walk in that, praise God. I was reminded of Romans 12, one and two. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord, which is your reasonable service. And I like that part where he said, that's your reasonable service for what I have done for you. That's just a reasonable thing that I'm asking you to do. Praise God. I praise God for the message today and the messenger reminding us that all things are new. Praise God. Amen. Go ahead, Pastor Key, what you say about it? Amen. Praise the Lord. I give honor to God. I thank God for this day. Amen. And for the word. And um, I give honor to the prophetess on this morning. Amen. Where she broke the bread and she did it in so, such a profound way and let the Lord use her on this morning. I thank God and I feel just like Pastor Shanisha. And, uh, uh, the, the scriptures was coming. Amen. And I praise God for this foundation. Amen. Because it's the word of God that is going to change and one thing our leader teaches is if you ain't got nothing else, you gotta have scriptures. And the prophetess came with the scriptures and then she began to read Philippians. And I said, oh, I ain't really got to go behind her or say anything because the prophetess has said it. The Lord used her. And I love that scripture. Let this mind this mind got to be in Christ. And so I praise God and I get excited when God can use his people like that and we can come together and dissect the word of God. I'm excited for what God is doing with this ministry and we get to boast because it's God that's using us. Amen. We get to talk about how good God is and how he uses us and how we're able to dissect the word of God and that the word of God will change you. The word of God will pierce you. Amen. Nothing of us. So we praise God for the I'm excited about the word of God. I, I'm telling y'all, I'm excited because I'm not even supposed to be coming at this time. Amen. But the pastor allowed me to come because I'm stirred up on the inside for the word of God. Amen. And I thank God for the prophetess and her obedience to God. Amen. Y'all, I love y'all. I'm stirred up on this word. This word was powerful and I took it all in. Amen. I thank God for you and thank you, pastor, for allowing me uh, to get some of it out. Amen because I'm gonna talk her ears off later y'all but I praise God for the word God bless y'all praise God listen I, I know she was stirred up you know I could I I, I heard her back in her sister amen but <clears throat> definitely when you have a sister that is following the ways of God and, the, and inside of the will of God I know it gets you stirred up and, and want to say something so I just let you go ahead and get it on out praise God because I was so excited and so proud to hear her go forth in the mighty name of Jesus. And I, I, I really do. I praise God for you, Prophet Sai. And I'm going uh, to get out the way as well, because certainly we have an altar call to do. And I'm going to let the prophets go ahead and handle the altar call. Praise God. Amen. We thank God for today. Uh, we thank God for the word. Amen. Thank God for the, everybody on here. We're getting straight into altar call. Um, if there's anybody who.